A team of Australian geologists have unearthed a 4.5 billion year old meteorite that appears to have traveled from somewhere between Mars and Jupiter. It's roughly four pounds. It plunged to Earth in late November, and the team from Curtin University in Australia had been working tirelessly to find it ever since. They believe the implications of its discovery will reap huge scientific rewards, and I happen to agree, I think this is really, really cool. It's 4.5 billion years old, slightly older than the Earth itself. It's kind of weird to think that we have rocks on the Earth that are actually older than Earth itself. Um, but I want to get into the way that they found this meteorite because it's really changing the game and it's cool. So it's part of this new, uh, they got help from this new program that they, they're, they're rolling out called the Desert Fireball Network. It's, a, it's basically this new series of 32 cameras that they put out inside of the outback in Australia, okay? And through that uh, network, they can track and see all sorts of cool uh, meteorites that are flying through our atmosphere. Here's a picture of one of them. I I think it's really beautiful. I mean, this is the picture of the meteorite. So they take these images and then they go out there. They had a drone and they had some Aborigines too who, who knew the outback pretty well. And they went out for three days. They finally found this meteorite. And this is really important for a number of reasons. I mean, we can gather data from these rocks. We can see what minerals are out there, you know, in that asteroid belt in between Mars and Jupiter. We see what minerals are out there, what minerals aren't out there. And it really tells us about how the universe was formed, how the Earth was formed. So a lot of clues. It's not just any old rock. It's also a very cost-effective alternative to what NASA and other sp international space agencies have been trying to do, which is get these landers on the asteroids and figure out what is actually happening out in space. And now this team has developed a way with this Desert Fireball Network to wait until the rocks come to us and their cameras are tracking the trajectory so they know approximately which quadrant of space that it came from. I mean, like you said, the trouble is finding it because they have these cameras in other regions that have mountains, that have forests, and they haven't been able to successfully recover any of the meteorites that the cameras have tracked until this discovery in the outback. Yeah, I mean, that's not, you know, to say, you're right, and that's not to say that it was necessarily easy. It's just much easier than, you know, looking for a rock in, in some dense forest or rain right. rainforest or something. So, yeah, that's a very good point. Why spend millions, maybe even billions of dollars like the European Space Agency just did to go out and land on a meteorite or something, you know, to get, gather data, and then you have to send it back or you have to have a lander that can do all sorts of tests on it. So this is much cheaper. Use the rocks that are already here. So it makes a lot of sense. And according to this team, this is just the beginning. They say this recovery will be the first of many.